To be honest with you, um, I have no limits. I like Barker Brahms, I like Beethoven, I like um, Tchaikovsky, love Stevie Wonder, it's endless. My mind is always working in the, in the concept of fusion to make it more interested instead of, instead of copying another guy on the radio. It's like, okay man, he has done that before, so I might as well try and transcend. And when I listen to most horn players right now, who is the latest sensation, I can hear the sound of the, the 60s and the 70s. So it's nothing really new. So I always accept the challenge of trying to create some kind of fusion. That's great. I, it, it might not be successful for me. Maybe when I'm gone, that's when it probably be successful. But uh, I have the concept where um, I would like to create my own voice. The melody. <laughs> about New York City and Central Park is that you, you can meet every culture under the sun. Every culture. I've been playing here for years. So there's various spots. One of my favorite spots is 59th Street. You see the tourists pass by and sometimes they tip me, they stop, and they always want to have a conversation. So it's like, um, even though we're in a, a, a very suppressed um, capitalist concrete jungle, we can still find a few minutes to find a spot next to a lake, a bridge. where I actually grew up. My education, I'm from a Jamaican-Cuban family. And um, after pursuing seven years of like engineering, um, I said to myself, that's for mommy and daddy. So I didn't waste no time, you know, because every generation want to see their kids go beyond their success in life. So I said to myself, okay, that's for you. And one day I was in class and I heard some like, Junior Walker and the All-Stars, then some Grover, and I fell in love with it. I got goose pimples, and I said, I'm going to start practicing. And I just kept practicing, 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 and now, I'm, now I have students. I still can't fathom it. I still can't believe it. I don't think no human being came on this planet for no reason. Every human being has got a gift. And whoever you are, find your gift and zone into it, man, and mold it. And you have no excuse not to be successful. But at the end of the day, I feel every human being is born for a purpose. You, me, the cameraman, these attractive soldiers down here, and <laughs> they make a difference. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't call myself a ladies' man, but you know what I mean? Oh, kind of a lover, I suppose. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs>